I'm working on an abscess on this molar. I'm trying to isolate the abscess. I like this study model. Eliminate everything up to the abscess that gets to the abscess. That's one. Call it work from the periphery to the center. Isolate the pyramid. Also, with the layers of calculus that are protecting the lowest layers, get through those layers, smooth the tooth. That also gives access to the abscess. So, right now, it's starting to readily bleed. That's an indication that I'm starting to get to the abscess. My strategy has been to work the periphery as much as possible and avoid the abscess. Avoid going after it directly. Sort of like if you've got this powerful boss and you try to dismantle the organization around the boss, then ultimately the boss is isolated. Whereas if you go for the boss directly, there's too much infrastructure surrounding the boss. Then also, since I have plans of trying to abscess proof of this tooth by doing what I call girdling the tooth, going all the way around, all the way to the bone, removing all the calculus between the bone and the tooth, then the preliminary work that I do in that regard is also favorable towards the ultimate goal. It's, it's shifting the work. It's shifting future work to present time, delaying the release of the abscess so that when the abscess does release, more of the future stuff is done. It's bleeding a little bit, so it looks like it's starting to release. Uh, so there may or may not be that much drama. It's kind of hard to say. Because even small abscesses can still hurt. Or it could be there's a, a large abscess there, and it'll just keep going. I don't know the answer there. But I'm going to keep working the periphery. I'm going to go to the back of the tooth. I'm going to try to clear this corner is what I'm going to try to do. In particular, around this cap, because I don't want to accidentally pull off the cap. So you can think of it as not like I'm sort of trimming the edges just to make everything nice and clean. Again, I'm going to the back of the tooth and then working my way forward with these little chisels. See how quickly it gets bloody? So like I said, there could be abscess on the back of the tooth too. So I'm trying to pull down to avoid the cap. Here. So this came off as a peripheral strategy. And then, for some reason, it's starting to, to seem very central because of all the blood that I'm getting. And then once I get a few more major pieces out, then there, I can start to smooth this area out too. I don't even have to go after the abscess directly. I can keep working the periphery, let it bleed itself out on its own, then it'll lose its, its power by the time I get to it. Smooth it out. I can have it be my own time. See right here, I got like, see this is a, certainly a, a major piece here. Here. Look at that, huh? Look at that, huh? Yeah, so I'm doing the wrap corner, and then it looks like there's an abscess here too, huh? So why do I let myself to one abscess when I can get two? Let's keep working the corner. Stay away from the cap. Excellent. Okay. So that's just a start. Just keep doing it. Okay, go back. Try to exhaust this. This is my chance to get the corner. See if I get this corner, the vac will be easier. Just do what I can. I don't have to be so aggressive. Okay. Now it's just smooth. Smooth the face. That's the second abscess. Right here. Okay, here we're going to go. Here. 
you know, I don't want this to slip because it can hurt, cause some damage. But some appropriate jostling should help to loosen it up. So the abscess is starting to release itself. Two abscesses is what it looks like. One on the uh, the back outside corner, another on the front corner, and there could be another abscess on the back inside corner, which could prove difficult. Not much has come out. Let's take a look and let's let's get a fresh thing here. Okay, there's those two pieces. The the one fairly large piece that you can see, plus about three smaller ones. And then there was the roughly twenty pieces from before. Then I rinsed out my mouth and this huge piece came out. So that could have been the huge piece could have been, let's say it could have been the kingpin. It's always possible. But largely what I'm getting is fairly thick blood. Okay, I'm going to change my strategy now back to a less aggressive strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Langer 2 to try to smooth out the areas that I've opened up. What that will do is that will isolate the areas that are more serious and then I go back and I get aggressive again. So it's an ongoing process. And then you see it stopped bleeding so you know we just see what happens. Likely what's going to happen is once I start this up again then the abscess is going to start to bleed again and it just it takes a while for it to bleed out so the smoother I get the tooth the more amenable it will be to bleeding out and the stimulation may just cause it to bleed out too. I think what happens is the body senses that there's something up this is its big chance so it takes advantage of it that's what I think.